somebody sent me this and like oh shoot like I need to talk about this like I need to talk about this so Solo Soko appears without a WrestleMania chamber for two consecutive years um here's the thing I feel like everything has been a downward spiral ever since he defeated John Cena like him and Austin Theory has this so called curse like like back then, many years ago, right? If Johnson pinned you or defeats you or stuff, he buries you. So he gotta lose. But now this time, the role has been reversed. Everybody's beat John Cena is getting buried. Like the logic of that, I don't know. Maybe because Triple H don't know how to build someone who had that momentum. I don't know why, but I just feel like let. Austin Theory and him. Here's the thing. Austin Theory need to turn face. Everybody said Austin Theory need to turn face, and that's what I believe. But him, him, like a WrestleMania match is. I don't know. Like Roma got a WrestleMania match. Jimmy and Jay got a WrestleMania match. Everybody got a WrestleMania match. Even The Rock himself has a WrestleMania match, but he's the only. Blood, blood, like blood, blood don't have a WrestleMania match. Like, what he's gonna do? Like, like that's that's something, not him. He gotta do something. Like John's, like this is what I believe. Like this is what I believe. John should should come, return, face Solo Soko with, with some redemption. But I don't see John Cena. He's out here getting naked in the Oscar world. I don't know, just, he said he will be available at WrestleMania, but like, why are you not doing this? Why are you not, like, make a storyline and make a redemption for what Solo did to you? As Simone, at The Rock Simone, what did he do to you? Uh, like, I th this, this Solo Sokoa treatment is, is a fail, I believe. But I cannot really say so. We'll see how far this goes. If he doesn't get a WrestleMania match next year uh, at WrestleMania 41, then what's the point? What's the point of him? Like that's a that's a one wrestler that I don't know. I don't know. He hasn't won any title, no tag team, no United, no Mick Carter, no nothing, and he's been here for like what almost two years now. So. I'm just saying, like, no title, just some big win match, and that's it. Like, did he have some match last year at SummerSlam? I don't think so. I'm just telling you guys, he needs to get some big momentum. He needs to get out of the bloodline. I think he needs to get out of the bloodline. Like, like that's, what's, that's what I'm saying. He was thriving in NXT solo called solo like he's doing solo move he's on he's doing his thing he's doing his thing all he needs is a mouthpiece Paul Heyman mmm that's brown breaker thing or he might retire but I feel like I feel like he needs his own mouthpiece he's, he needs something maybe Jimmy Jimmy could be a mouthpiece for him like like a tag team type of thing that's I don't know but something anything but don't just let him be the a sideline and just be so grumpy and mean. And then whenever Roman needs something, he's coming and attack for anyone. No, like that's why they call him Solo for a reason. That's what I believe. So what do you guys think? Comment below. Should he thrive as a solo uh, wrestler, superstar, whatever you guys call it, or should he just just? quit WWE like quit all wrestling like it's not for him like no one nobody know how to book him correctly like what do you guys think guys comment below